Hello everybody, uh, I'm Dr. Svetlana Zatz and I am a foot and ankle doctor at MidAmerica Orthopedics. Today we're going to discuss plantar fasciitis. It's a condition that unfortunately um, is pretty common whether you're a runner or a couch potato. So let's learn about plantar fasciitis. So plantar fascia is a band of tissue that actually connects at the heel bone and then goes across and attaches at the ball of the foot. Now plantar fasciitis is a condition where the heel starts to hurt. Believe it or not, the cause of plantar fasciitis is actually the tightening of the Achilles tendon. Achilles tendon is the biggest, strongest tendon in our whole body. And what it does is it attaches on the opposite end of your plantar fascia. So the plantar fascia attaches here, here, and the Achilles tendon attaches here. Again, they are facing each other, as you can see, at the heel bone. What happens as the Achilles tendon tightens, it pulls the heel bone off the ground but yet your body wants to be flat on the ground. And you get this tug of war between the strongest tendon in the body and the plantar fascia. Plantar fascia always loses and small fibers rip away from the attachment to the heel bone. That is plantar fasciitis. As these little fibers start to rip away from the attachment to the heel bone, your body recognizes an injury and it sends a ton of inflammation right into that heel and that is what's hurting. Unfortunately, with plantar fasciitis, it very fast becomes a chronic condition. And what happens is, as you sleep, sleep time is your recovery time. So everything is trying to heal, but you're sleeping kind of in a slumped over position, and the plantar fascia is slumped over. And as it's healing, it's healing in a contracted, slumped over position. Then you wake up in the morning, and you step on it, and you yank on the plantar fascia, ripping all the little fibers that you have healed at night. And then you walk on it, and it turns into this vicious cycle of heal at night, rip in the morning, inflame through the day. Heal, rip, and flame. Heal, rip, and flame. The way to treat plantar fasciitis is to stop that cycle. It's not just a shot. It's one of those things where you have to address everything. You have to address the culprit, which is the tight Achilles tendon. You have to stretch that Achilles tendon, whether it's physical therapy, stretching exercises, or the best, which is a night splint, which we do carry at MidAmerica Orthopedics. The second is you need to address the inflammation in that heel. So whether it's an anti-inflammatory injection with a steroid or oral anti-inflammatories or oral steroids, something has to be addressed this area has to be addressed with anti-inflammatories. Now the second natural anti-inflammatory is ice. You must ice this area to help the oral anti-inflammatories or the injection portion. The third component of treating plantar fasciitis and stopping that cycle is supporting the plantar fascia. If you were to sprain an elbow, wouldn't you go into a sling? This is the same principle. Supporting this band with a form of arch support, like an orthotic. It doesn't have to be a custom orthotic, but supporting that fascia so it has a chance to heal and avoiding walking barefoot and obviously exercising is that third component of treating plantar fasciitis. The only component of treatment that is optional is physical therapy. Usually my protocol is address the culprit, which is the tight Achilles, anti-inflammatory support, and then assess the patient. If the patient is not getting better in two to three weeks, then we start talking about maybe doing physical therapy. If patients do not respond to these basic three to four conservative treatments, I do consider ordering an MRI because in certain cases you can actually develop um, bigger ruptures in the plantar fascia, sometimes complete, sometimes partial. At that point, we start discussing other additional treatments such as PRP injections, which is platelet-rich plasma injections that stimulate the healing of the plantar fascia. Only in extreme cases do I ever consider surgical resection of the plantar fascia, which is probably in my clinic only about 3 to 5% of patients that come in with plantar fasciitis. Again, um, plantar fasciitis is a chronic condition. It can turn into complete ruptures at times, so it is best to address this issue as soon as it starts so you can nip that cycle in the butt, and we do that at MidAmerica Orthopedics. And um, if you have any further questions, please reach out to us.